How's it going, gang? Chris Cards back. 1987 Tops autographed progress report time. Ten cards going in today. A couple of Hall of Famers as well as a couple of replacements, which is uh, which is exactly what it sounds like. Our first card going in today is going to be Burt Blylevin. Burt Blylevin signed this card. Twenty dollars. Tiffany. This one came out pretty good. Put him in right there. Even wrote me a tiny little note here. Not worth anything, but you know what? Let's just keep it right back there. Kind of part of the history of the card. And move on to our next card, which is going to be Keith Hernandez. Keith Hernandez inscribed 86 World Series champs. Trying to get a lot of the 87 Tops Mets cards inscribed with 86 World Series champs. Kind of a collection within a collection, if you will since they are my favorite team. And I am chasing an 87 set, which is, of course, 86 shots from the Mets, so I might as well try to get them to inscribe. Next card going in, another 86 Met. Doug Sisk, 86 World Series Championship Inscription. This was free when I got it. He is now charging, I think, $5 a card. Next card gonna go in is Danny Tartable. Good TTMer. I think I sent him three cards, maybe four cards. No, three cards and ten bucks, and he signed them. So he's he's all over the map, but he he does sign. You throw him some bucks, he'll sign some cards for you. No real set fee. Next card going in is going to be Keith Hernandez once again. These cards cost me $40 a piece, along with, of course, the inscription. This was his all-star card, so I had him inscribe five-time all-star. I guess he signed up there because it wouldn't look good in the blue, but yeah, I think it I think it would have looked fine in the blue. I'm not sure how I feel about how he signed these cards, but they'll have to do. See what we got another 86 uh, World Series champion inscription down here. And of course, Strawberry will get be pretty easy to get. Carter, on the other hand, will be a little bit trickier. Next card going in. Kurt Stillwell. Kurt Stillwell, good TTMer. Takes a little bit of time. 88 All-Star inscription on this Tiffany card. Came out wonderful. Looks great in the binder. Same page. Next card going in. John Candelaria. No hitter. August 9th, 1976 inscription. Boy, all these, all these cards are getting inscribed today. There you go. Looking good next to Larry Parrish there. Next card going in. Dave Schmidt. Dave Schmidt right there. Yeah, he signed it on the black, and it doesn't look too bad. I think the blue on blue would have been too bad. Right up next to Jesse Orozco, another 86 World Series inscription. Pretty much getting to show you all my Mets in this update. Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan, our next card going in. Complete with the Nolan Ryan Foundation hologram up here in the corner. Nolan is... $75 a card. Next card going in, Tom Treblehorn. Manager card here at the very end of the traded set. And there's another Tartable i got to get signed. Tom Treblehorn, great TTMer as well. Used to manage the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes up here by me. Used to see him all the time managing up there. He still lives in Portland. Two replacement cards, guys. Two replacement cards, guys. Tom Browning, I'm going to replace this. This was, I do believe... $16 on eBay, recently passed Tom Browning. Not saying this, uh, this is not a very good, uh, looks like a ballpoint pen signature. Did not come out very good. Almost looks like pencil. Uh, this is much nicer. Not saying this is not a legit autograph. It just didn't look that great. And Tom Browning, who just recently passed away a, f a week or two ago. I'll keep the other autograph on the back here, but this looks a lot better. Every time I passed that page and saw Tom Browning, I was disappointed. So I was glad to get a nice replacement of him. Yeah, it cost me another few bucks, but it looks that much better. And another replacement card, Ken Schramm. This one's inscribed 86 All-Star Game. This is a Tiffany card. This did not come out very good. You can see a little streaking there, a little bubbling there. Not great. Going to replace it with the non-inscribed card. And uh, he's a good signer. I might get this one in just a regular base, non-Tiffany version sign. So uh, let's just do one of these here. Try not to touch it as much as possible. And a couple of replacement cards for the set. Still looks pretty good, but I mean, it's a free signature. 
I might, I might get that redone with the 86 All-Star inscription on a regular card. That's not going to give me problems with the, with the pen. So there you guys go. 87 Tops uh, autograph progress report for you. Um, got some big hitters in today. My total over here went up a lot. It's always a little depressing, but flipping through these pages, it's pretty exciting to see uh, every page has a uh, autograph on it. Just about. Look at that. Reggie Jackson and Frank Viola on the same page. Well, as Lee Guterman with, of course... His MLB debut uh, inscription. Some really nice autographs in here. It's coming together really good. Uh, and that is it, my friends. Thanks for joining me. See ya.